Welcome to Digital Report Channel, one place destination for the latest news and analysis as well as expert opinion on all the key issues. Without any delay, let's get started with today's video. The invasion of Ukraine by Russia has led many to cast their eyes on China and its claims over Taiwan. But why does China attach such importance to the island nation? China's goal of controlling Taiwan is as old as People's Republic of China itself. Here is a little history to help us understand. Taiwan is a small oval-shaped island, 394 kilometers long and 144 kilometers wide at its broadest point and includes several small islands. Taiwan used to be a self-governing country before 1600s. During the early and mid 17th century, it was a colony of Netherlands for about 40 years until they were expelled from Taiwan in 1662. China under the rule of Qing dynasty slowly gained control there in the late 17th century and ruled Taiwan for about 2 centuries. In 1894, China and Japan went to war over their conflicting interests in Korea. However, due to the corruption and lack of training in the Qing forces, Japan won the war very easily. This win marked the emergence of Japan as the major global power and exposed the weakness of the Qing dynasty. The Treaty of Shimonoseki was signed on April 7, 1985, forcing the Qing dynasty to recognize the total independence of Korea and surrender Taiwan and Pegu Islands to Japan forever. Japan's first colonialism strike, Taiwan, was a great success in terms of establishing order, eliminating disease, building infrastructure, and creating a modern economy. Taiwan soon became the most advanced place in East Asia outside Japan itself. In the meantime, Chinese revolutionaries overthrew the Qing Empire in China and established the Republic of China in the year 1912. Taiwan was returned to nationalist China control in 1945 following Japan's defeat in World War II. However, in mainland China, a civil war broke out between Chiang Kai-shek government and Mao Zedong Communist Party. In 1949, Chinese communist armies defeated nationalist forces on the mainland and established the People's Republic of China. The nationalist government and armies fled to Taiwan where they ruled for the next several decades, again resulting in the separation of Taiwan from China. The Chinese government in Beijing points to this history and maintain that it has an authority over Taiwan. and has continued to put forward a one china policy but the taiwanese point to the same history to argue that they were never part of modern chinese state that was first formed after the revolution in 1912 or the people's republic of china that was established under mao in 1949 china sees the self ruled island as a part of its territory but taiwan sees itself as distinct from the mainland Let's keep history aside and see how is Taiwan's economy doing right now. The Taiwanese economy is a highly developed market economy. It is the 8th largest in Asia and the 18th largest in the world by purchasing power parity, allowing Taiwan to be included in the advanced economies grouped by the International Monetary Fund. According to statistics, its GDP grew by 44% between 2010 and 2021 and is expected to grow by 19% by 2025. There is no denying Taiwan's importance to the global semiconductor industry. Taiwan makes 65% of the world's semiconductors and almost 90% of the advanced chips. The electronic sector attracts the largest share of foreign investment. Taiwan Semiconductor Manufacturing Company is the largest contract chip manufacturer in the world and Asia's most valuable listed company. There is a high reliance on Taiwan in the global semiconductor supply chain and we all know that semiconductors are the backbone of emerging technologies like artificial intelligence autonomous vehicles and quantum computing Talking about the current situation according to US Secretary of State Antony Blinken China is pursuing unification with Taiwan faster than expected Beijing had decided the status quo was no longer acceptable he said Washington has always walked a diplomatic tightrope over the issue of Taiwan and China. Its official policy does not commit to military action on Taiwan. But US President Biden has seemingly gone against this stance by repeatedly emphasizing that Washington would defend Taiwan. Chinese President Mr Xi Jinping insisted that complete reunification of our country must and will be realized. Mr Xi Jinping said that We will continue to strive for peaceful reunification with the greatest sincerity and with the utmost effort but we will never promise to renounce the use of forces. 
there have been high tensions between US and China in the recent months especially following the visit of US House of Representatives speaker Nancy Pelosi to Taipei as a response to Ms Pelosi's visit China conducted large scale of air and sea military exercises around the island some analysts point out that Pelosi's trip was nothing short of provocative Ms Pelosi's visit sends a message to other nations that the US can and will challenge any nation no matter how strong they may be if china or the us overreacts and starts something like what is happening to ukraine trapped in the greatest struggle between us led west and russia the repercussions for the tiny island nation officially known as republic of china might be terrible so let's all hope that something like the russia ukraine conflict doesn't come up with china taiwan for a more peaceful mankind saying that i would like to thank you for being with us till the end Show us some love by hitting the like button and subscribing to our channel. Let us know what you want to hear from us next in the comment section. Take care and bye bye for now.